How could the man who shot the coolest rock and rollers of the 1970s still be so cool and so relevant today? We're here with legendary photographer Mick Rock to find out. Why did you feel like right now was a good time for you to come out with a documentary? I don't, well, this has been a five-year odyssey that I, Barney and I had to wade through a lot of stuff. It kind of evolved. But I think the way it turned out so original is because of that creative tension, as it were. Are, what are the pros and cons of that? Well, the pros, I suppose, is I make a lot more money than I ever did in the old. That is one. The downside is I don't get to shoot every day like I did when I was young, because that's all I did. But it wouldn't work nowadays, because I'm far too ancient, you know. So. relative. Well, it's relative, <laughs> yes. But I never, I've never really and I don't think I'd do it in the documentary. I've never really analyzed what I, what, and people say, what's your style, Mick? And I'd say, I don't really know. I come out of the rock and roll business, not the photography business. So I had an adaptable style, you might say. You know, you've made this documentary and you've been working a long time. So how did making the documentary alter or shift the way you work? It's hard to say what the, what's going to come from this. I mean, I'm busy like hell anyway, but I, it wasn't done in a linear way. It wasn't all laid out beforehand. The whole thing evolved. And everybody really says the same thing. It's not like anything else I've ever seen. And um, that to me is good. Whether you like it or not, I wanted an adventure. And I fucking got it in spades, you know. I always knew that this was the life I was meant to live. Ah. I'm, like a, I'm like a thief in the night. That's all the time we have with Mick Rock on HitFix, but if you want more of the man or the new documentary, keep coming back.